Good morning, this is Steve O'Hare from Signal Centre and today is Thursday the 7th of October and we're taking a look at foreign exchange. We're going to start with the dollar index and drill down through the time frames and look at the technical analysis uh, reasoning uh, data points that we uh, think will be very interesting coming up. So uh, dollar index has con confirmed last week the double bottom formation. We can see that the neckline of this double bottom was at 93.44. Uh, we broke above it and closed above it uh, the week of the 27th and this week uh, it hasn't disappointed. It's uh, another bullish week at the moment for dollar index. The measured move target for this move would be a move up towards the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the previous down move. So that comes in at 97.27. Uh, the next real resistance that we uh, have to overcome is 94.74, a break of there, and uh, we'll see this move accelerate. Looking at the shorter term time frames, rather a messy looking chart, but I've got the um, Ichimoku cloud on here. Uh, with, we see momentum stalling ever so slightly. Uh, we've corrected from overbought on the RSI, uh, so that there now is a little bit more room. Really looking at support coming in at this previous swing high, uh, which has now turned into support. 93.65 is the area to uh, buy dips to. So the opposite will be the case for euro dollar. Um, we've got an even nicer formation forming here. It's a head and shoulders formation, which has broken the neckline. Uh, it broke the neckline way back, um, way back here, way back in July. Uh, it retested and closed above it. Uh, and then since then, we've had five weeks of negative price action. Uh, we've broken through the support at 116.12, trading at 115.60 now. So that's negative for euro dollar. Uh, on the, you can see on the daily chart again, uh, where the, the price action is moving lower and uh, by breaking uh, the support here at 116.63, it's extended lower into that 116.12 area and extended lower from here again. So the, the market does open up or the uh, support does open up a little bit from here on onwards. So again, expect that to accelerate that move, looking to really sell rallies on a short term basis. Cable has performed slightly better. Let's take a look at the weekly chart again. The, the real level uh, for me to watch is um, this 135.15, we're a little bit away from it at the moment, about 70 ticks higher than that at the moment. Um, but the double uh, top formation is in place, confirmed by last week's candle, and uh, we expect that to accelerate the double top uh, formation, really. Uh, uh, 136.70 has a measured move target, 131. Uh, let's take a look and draw some fib lines in on this weekly chart to see if that marries up with anything well we've got the 38.2 percent uh, retracement coming in at 131.65 so that sort of area you can see congestion previously that would be a good area to target initially on the weekly chart on dollar yen obviously we had this very long term downward trend in resistance line which acted as a solid resistance for such a long time uh, we eventually broke through it in March, retested it in April, uh, towards the end of April, and we're starting to kick on from here now. So plenty of room on the upside for dollar yen. Um, next resistance, really, 112.40, only uh, a whole point away. Um, so that, that will be the next um, challenge for dollar yen, fifth week of positive price action. On the daily chart, we can see that we have broken above um, the Ichimoku cloud, this flat uh, line of resistance that we've had. Momentum stalling ever so slightly, um, but really um, the candles, inverted hammer. This is like a morning uh, doji star formation and um, prices have kicked on from there. Next real level of re resistance coming in at 112.10. Uh, we can see the lagging line on this Ichimoku cloud is quite clearly above the cloud. So that's confirmed the bullish sentiment moving forward. Finally, we take a look at Aussie dollar again on a weekly chart. This is showing a head and shoulders formation. 
Uh, the neckline hasn't been broken yet. We really need to get a close below 71.27, um, but really a close below the 70 level uh, would uh, really uh, put the cat amongst the pigeons in respect for this. 38.2% uh, Fib retracement comes in just above that at 70.52. So under pressure, Aussie dollar, uh, that dollar strength is really um, helping this formation play out. And uh, we expect more to come from that over the coming weeks. Uh, on the daily chart, it's battling with the Ichimoku cloud. We've got bearish sentiment um, and the lagging line is still below uh, the cloud, so still in that negative territory. Uh, we've seen a little bit of a recovery over the last week or so, but hanging man candle posted yesterday in Aussie dollar. So that's negative for sentiment. 73.15 really is the level that the uh, bulls have got to force this market above to have any sort of um, chance of surviving this onslaught from the bears. However, there is further resistance in the form of the cloud um, above that. So uh, we're keeping an eye on that closely. We expect that market to move lower also. Thanks for joining me this week. Joe will be back next week and we look forward to speaking then.